All right, I'm not sure how effective this is gonna be or how many people this is gonna to apply to, uh, but I'm here on a job where I'm doing a lawn installation, um, also putting in irrigation system. I've got a couple of rolls of one inch poly over there to run. Typically, uh, you'd rent a pipe puller or some type of trencher to run your pipe. And in the past, I've used uh, actually a fork. If I had a set of forks on my Bobcat, I would just take one of them off and just use one fork and kind of stick it in the ground and just kind of back drag. We only need to get it down, you know, at least four inches, more like six to eight inches or whatever from this grade because we're going to go you know another three or four inches of loam on top of this uh, so ultimately you know we want to be a good at least six eight, six inches down underground if not you know eight or ten inches uh, for this pipe just so we don't have any issues uh, with like a lawn aeration in the future or anything you don't want to end up pipe poking any of the pipes so from this grade we want to go down like I said a minimum of four inches or so uh, so I've been thinking of kind of a tool that I could attach to the Bobcat, you know, without having a big expensive attachment. You know, they make pipe puller attachments for it, of course, and, uh, you know, trenchers and all that stuff. But uh, in this situation where I have no existing lawn and I, I basically graded the yard out as it is, so, uh, you know, trenching it and just filling in the trench isn't a big deal. I'm not hurting the existing lawn because there is none. So what I'm trying to do is I was thinking about trying to find like some type of just spike or something that I could screw into here that would stick down, uh, you know, a nice strong metal spike of some type that I could basically just push down into the ground and kind of like back drag. And that would just create a thin little line trench to go ahead and bury the pipe in and then just, you know, fill it in really quickly afterwards. Uh, so I went to track the supply company trying to look around to see what they had for different options. But I came across this and this is called a ripper box blade ripper shank there's the information on it and this is a pretty heavy duty steel shank with a tooth on it which is going to be just the thickness that I need to bury this pipe so what I'm planning on doing I actually already looked at it and it even lines up got all these different holes here on the side already on this bucket these two holes line up right here and right there it kind of creates a tooth it's gonna hang down the bottom of the bucket I could even lower it a set of notches if I wanted to make it deeper and maybe add some more holes if I wanted it narrower um, but what we're gonna do is put a couple of grade 8 hardened bolts and bolt this to the side of the bucket and uh, give it a shot and see how this does. I'm anticipating that it's going to work out pretty well. I'm hoping it is. So let's uh, get this bolted up and I'll fire up the machine and uh, we'll run maybe a 20 foot length of trench really quick and see how it works out. Of course, when we run into rocks and roots and stuff, it's gonna end up you know, getting caught up and maybe pull the stuff up and disturb the ground. But um, I still think this might be a quick, effective way to uh, get a trench down to run the pipe in. So let's see how it goes. All right, so here's what I came up with. I got a couple of 7 16 bolts that I bought, hardened bolts, to go through these two holes with some washers. Uh, but this hole in my bucket is bigger than this one. Actually, we can see on this side, these are the holes that I'm using right here and right here. And you can see this actually almost goes through. You know what, maybe I can mount it on this side with this bolt. But for testing purposes, I stuck this pin in here. I got this one tightened up. It's uh, held in there good. It might move a little bit when I start digging, but uh, I'm gonna set it up and uh, see how this works before I worry about taking it off and mounting it any stronger. But that's kind of the idea. Let's see how it does. snap that pin right off there.
That's why I got grade eight hardware. So let me see if I can't make this hole a little bigger with what I got here. I don't have any drill bits on me, but maybe I got a punch or something. It almost, it's almost big enough to fit that bolt. So let me see if I can get that going. All right, attempt two. I was able to bolt it on. On this side, this hole was actually just a little bit bigger than that, and I was able to hollow it out a little bit and get that bolted on with the two hardened bolts. So let's see how this works. But now I got to flip around and go the other way because I can only, you know, it's on the left hand side of the bucket. So I'm going to go back to like the corner of that house right there, and then we're going to pull it this way. And uh, let's see what we get. was pretty impressive of course it kind of fell back in a little bit as I was going I don't have anything to disperse the dirt which I could probably weld something onto it to make it even more effective but the bottom line is with very little basically just by hand now clearing this out And there we go, trenched. So that was probably what, 50 feet or so in about two minutes. Definitely liking it. What do you guys think? It's a good idea. I gotta run one all the way around this whole outer perimeter and back down that side. came over to grab the camera to move it and the wind was just blowing you over. Here we go though. If anything, it digs the trench and loosens it up, makes it really easy to pull this down. Not bad. All right, time to get some pipe in the ground.